you see a slow rotation allowing Justin Champagne to get a relatively easy layup. Pop by. It's in a good start for the Panthers. Very choppy start for Virginia. You see they're one for six and just not hitting right away as Clark will line it. That's where he's most dangerous. One of the reasons why he leads the ACC and assists at over six a game. And another reason why Justin Champagne is the leading scorer in the ACC because he's been a beneficiary. He's a guy who started almost every game throughout his career. He's a junior now. He found out 10 minutes before the game he was coming off the bench. Not sure everyone recognizes that Xavier Johnson has a little extra pep in his step in this game. He's a third-year point guard, as is Kihei Clark. Xavier All the 10 side, putting it to the deck. Slamming on the brakes. Clark gives it away, and the slam. Sharing the sugar right there, nice. And then Xavier Johnson got double teamed. He just gave the ball up easily to cool the ball. He was able to make a nice find to Champagne, putting Sam Hauser in a tough spot. Clark on a nice scoop. Needed to grow up. They had to be better. They had to mature. And they did not do that going on the road and losing to Wake Forest right after that Duke game. So as Jay Huff is able to come off, and Kia Clark continues to be aggressive attacking the basket. Hauser with a sweet touch. As you said, as we came on the air, Sam Hauser does not worry about the rim. Oh, what a tough drive. Johnson takes the contact, too. And an ugly looking shot. And, and Trey Murphy is a great shooter, not just a good shooter, but a great shooter. But Ooh. he has to do his shooting off of catches. More pick and roll action. And again, Kihei Clark attacking. But once again, Jay Huff spacing the floor and knocking down another three. And Tony's sister actually did attend Stevens Point. Bowser straight on. Yes, as he buries a triple. This in a lot of respect for Chase Coleman from Tony Bennett gives him a lot of freedom not only as a player but as a way too much TV time in this one. He wears <laughs> number 12 which I'm thinking is from you know his older brother me but he then told me no my dad wore 12 so I'm kind of like the constant missed an opportunity at the buzzer to win the game so you can't put it past Pittsburgh to be able to come back and make this a game but they've got to find a way to get stops Virginia shoot. But Virginia will pull this one out and win again. They're now 13-3, 9-1.